Hello, hello. Here we go. Here comes Sweat B, Ab Ripper B. Ooh, let's get this done. All right. Just like Sculpt B yesterday, there's gonna be a few things that you might recognize. And there's gonna be a, quite a few things that are different. So let's learn it together. Let's figure it out together. Um, if you've got your H, it'd be great. You are gonna need your boxes in this one. Let's start the kayak knee lift. Get that knees up and to your hips. 30 seconds of this. We've got 10 seconds left. Just doing the warm up. Here we go. Moving on to running in place right now. So, hopefully, you're doing well today. If you've got some energy, pick up those knees. Arms, pick up the arms, <laughs> move them faster. Do what you can do. There's still two rounds in this sun salutations now. We've got two rounds of this, they're just longer rounds. So, up with the arms. Same old sun salutations. Same terrible pain. Ouch. Down I go. Upward dog. Deep breath. Back to plank. To downward dog. Pedal off those feet. Press those heels into the ground. something different. 
Okay, into our punching. Just like before, we've got elbow uppercut. We're gonna add a pull though. So, it's elbow, uppercut, pull. Excuse me. Elbow, uppercut, pull. So, it's a little something different, a little bit added, remember on that pull, switch sides, remember on that pull to lean back, other side, front arm elbow, uppercut, pull, elbow, uppercut, pull, elbow, uppercut, Figure out the move here, but once you get it, last one. There we go, not too bad. All right, we're doing front to side jacks. So not press jacks, regular jacks. But then, at some point, we're gonna switch and do front jacks. What's a front jack? Instead of, going, instead of your arms going to the side, they go to the front. Just like that. And then back to side jacks. Your hips. We're just 
skip it. Skip it in between. Ten seconds. Last one. One more. There it is. Nice. That one's pretty good. I like that. So next one is, <clears throat> sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. Next one <clears throat> is hook, cross, push. So it's a hook, it's a cross, and then your front leg is gonna kick. That's a push. So hook, cross, push. Hook, cross, <clears throat> push. Hook, cross, push. Remember, once you get the rhythm, don't forget, you can still spin those toes. Other side. <clears throat> Fling those hips, spin those toes. Hook, cross, push. Hook, cross, push. Hook, cross, push. Boom. Hook, cross, boom. Five seconds, hook, cross, boom, hook, cross, boom, one more. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. If you remember last round, we had fast feet. This time, making it much harder, we're doing two speed tires. What's a tire? Well, to start, you just walk in, doing a, a slow pace through all the boxes. And then when I say tires, you pick up the pace, you pick up the knees. Tire, tire, tire. Pick up those knees. Get them high. Yeah, let's go back down. I got a minute of this. Halfway down. Halfway there. Back to tires, pick them up. Get those arms flying. Back down to slow speed. And one last time, five seconds. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. And that's it. different again. Instead of just going down into a sprawl, you got one leg forward as always. You're gonna strike, punch down first, then into a sprawl, then back up. So if your right leg is front, your left leg punches, down and up. Punch, So, 
are doing. Mountain climber. Standard mountain climber. So you're in plank, tuck those hips, stand your mountain climber, and then we'll switch it and we'll cross. It's hard for me to hold myself, my shoulders get sore. We're halfway done, it's one minute. Jump back in when you can. Cross. Back to regular. Straight up the middle. Five seconds. Come on. Front, uppercut with the back, 
grab your fist, pull, elbow, uppercut, pull, elbow, uppercut, pull, get set up, elbow, uppercut, pull, elbow, uppercut, pull, try to still let your hips move around, last one. on those punches. Try to spin those toes. Move those hips. Keep everything tight. <clears throat> it's the same as round one. Our first phase. We're setting in the pool. Okay. Here we go. Elbow. Uppercut. Pull. Elbow. Uppercut. Pull. Keep those hands up. You can see them. Almost 
two more. One more. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Hook, cross, push. Push, kicking with your front leg. <clears throat> so, hooking, front arm, hook, cross, kick that hip, lean back, kick with that front leg, hook, cross, go. Just like the jab, you're not popping that elbow. One more. Hook, cross, blam. Other side. If you're struggling to keep up with me, just slow it down. Oops, that's a pass. That's a kick. Cross, push. That'll happen. We're still learning. Spin those toes, press those hips forward. We got five. Boom. I'm kicking with my heel. You can just do toe, or you can keep your foot extended or contracted. Kick with your heel. Either way, two speed tires once again. So let's go. Nice and normal. Normal jog speed. Back and forth in all your boxes. Now pick it up. Tires. Knees up. Faster. Faster feet. In your hands. And go. Let's go back down. Tires, 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 tires. If you don't pick up those knees, your feet are gonna hit them. Okay, down, down to mellow. Even on mellow, you're not walking. You're just going slow. Five seconds, back to tires. Go, pick it up, pick it up. Knees up, one more time.
So, your back, hands under the shoulders. Kind of squeeze that hip in. interlaced. Squeeze my shoulders forward and around the back. You're trying to squeeze your two shoulders together. And then reach up high on the back. Press down. Squeeze those shoulders back. You do what you need to do. I'm doing what I need to do. All right, let's get down and do a bit of legs. Same old, same old stuff. Reach it over, stretch it up. Deep breath in, reach it over. your head drop. Let your arms, you can fold them, you can drop them. Let's go to the side. Let's go to the other side. Let's go back to the other side. Runner's lunge it. Just put that knee down. And come up. Chest is up. There's a bit of a stress on that front hip. 
come back up onto our heels, reach down, stretch that hamstring if you can. So other side, we're gonna do a full on runner stretch and then put your knee down. Sit up tall, press that hip forward. And then up for the hamstring. Uh, <laughs> whatever you can do. Okay. Let's go. Back up. Nice and slow. Uh, we're not done. We're done with sweat. It's time for a ripper. I'll see you in a second. All right, here we go. If you need a bit more of a break, take it. Otherwise, we're gonna get going right away. So the first 10 are the same as the 10 that, we've used, that we're used to. After that, we've got a few new ones. So we start with Pac-Man. Hands by the ears. Feet down. Bring it up and down. Elbows to the inside of the knees to the outside, inside, outside, outside, inside. There we go. Plantain rolls, the worst. Get on that side. Get those legs up, arms up. Roll it over. Those arms and legs up. Roll back. I rolled too far. <laughs> and over. These are the worst. And over. And over. However, I remember when I first started, I couldn't do all 10. Now I can just about do all 10. I think we're on eight. Nine or something. I don't know. Ten. That's it. Okay, keep on going. Ish combo. Thumbs underneath your butt. Keep that low back down. Legs are out. Bring them down. Open up. Never mind. Open them. Raise them off. Open. Remember to keep that low back on the ground as you bring your legs down. Up. If your knees are bent, that's all right. It can be like that. Whatever you can do. I think we got two more. I think. <laughs> oh, come on. One more. Down, open, up. Oh, something like that. Back to rope climber. Here we go. Legs are up as straight as you can make them. Reaching up for one, for two, for three, for four. Go for that toe. Five. Seven, eight, squeezing those obliques as you twist, ten, other side, one, two, three, go for the toe, two more, nine, ten, This is a tough one, but it's great. All right, pike crunch. So, do what you can do on this with your legs. You can have them on table like that. 
You can have them higher up. Whatever you can do, reach up, hands together. Open them up. Reach up, squeeze it up. Open up. Remember, only put your legs down as far as you can without your back, without your back lifting up. Oh man, up you go. There we go, there's five, six. If you can, keep your head and shoulders up the whole time. Obviously I need to take breaks, but that's all right. Two more, or something like that. Last one, oh, up. And always make sure you're pressing up. If your arms are just going up and your head is on the ground, you're not doing too much. Circle crunches, let me pause this because we're getting behind. Because I'm slow. Circle crunches, hands by the ears, to the left, up, to the right, to the right, up, to the left. There's three. Right, center, left. Really lean over on those sides. Squeeze those obliques. Up. Uh. If you can, keep. Don't, don't put your elbows in front. Try and keep them out. That's really hard to do, but you can try it. There's seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Get up as high as you can on that center, on that circle. Oh boy. Okay, bridge, crunch. Heels together. Feet down, bridge, up, and bridge, up, bridge. Remember on the up, you're pressing your hips up. You're not just, you're not just rolling your legs. Get that butt off the ground as high as you can. Get those hips up. Squeeze those glutes. There's eight. Two more. One more. Boom. Last one. Up. And up. Okay. We are on triangle crunches. I think I'm out of frame. Out of frame here. Triangle crunches, two fists. We're gonna punch to the left. Punch to the center, get up high. Punch to the right. Bring that arm over, squeeze that down. Punch it up. Punch it over, bring the opposite arm over. Squeeze. Punch. Over. There's seven. Eight or something, I don't know. Nine. And one more. Seven. I think we did 11, how about roller bike. So, up. Up tall. You're in your balanced position. Roll back. Legs out. Bicycle, then you come up. Roll back. Up, up. Roll back. Up, up. Remember, if you need to, you can put your feet down as you come up. But try to keep them up. Roll it back. Up, up. I think this is seven, maybe. <laughs> up. Over. Here's eight. Uh, up, up. Here's nine. Uh, up, up. One more. Up, up. I think 
I did 11 again. That's all right. Okay, bug crunches. Normally this would be the last, but we are in a new round. So we're gonna keep going after this one. So get in your bug position. One leg up, one leg down. If your right leg is up, right hand behind the head. Left arm reaches over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remember, your leg can touch. No problem. On every reach. Try to reach over as far as you can. circles. It's a fun one. You're grabbing a big steering wheel. Uh, the farther out your legs are, the harder it is. So get them to a spot that you like. And you're going to go down, holding that circle, and coming up like that. And then back the other way. And there's two. And then back the way you came. And then down, and up, and down, and up. You're rolling onto your back, You're keeping your head and your shoulders well off the mat. And down, and up, and down, and up. And I've lost track. Let's do one more. And down. So you're just rolling down far enough for your low back to touch and then coming up. Next up, twist and row. If you remember from the Saturday special, we had that A twist. Very similar here. We're in that balanced position. Our hands are touching each side. Nice and slow. Five. Six. Ugh. If you need to take a break, you can. If you need to put your heels down, you can. Over. There's seven. Over. Eight. Over. You're paddling. Last one. Oh. Mamma mia. Oh. Sitting in that spot really pulls on those hip flexors. And yet, <laughs> we're gonna do it again. Some Buddha crunches. Again, you're sitting in that spot. Heels are together, hands are up. You're gonna pull your hands out, put your legs out, lean back a bit. There's three. Again, if you need to rest, put your feet down. Jump back in when you can. Four. Five. You're always coming back up into prayer. Keep those legs separated, heels together. Oh, those are hard. Two more. And one more. Here's another really tough one. Half boat crunches. So, you're keeping your knees up. You're gonna go back down onto your back and then up. Down. If you can, keep your legs off. If you need to put your knee heels down, you can. You can still do it with the heels down. Down you go, and up. Oh. Man, they're hard. <laughs> New stuff is always hard. So, heels up. Oh. Down. 
<sighs> My hip flexors are holy smokes. Just destroyed. Keeping heels down. Two more. Up. Down. As you come up on those, keep your back flat. You're not, you're not reaching for your toes. You're just keeping your back straight as you go down and then straight as you come up. All right, last move. <laughs> Banana bike. So what are we doing on this guy? Okay. This one's really hard. <clears throat> so we get into banana pose, which is arms out, legs out, and then you're coming up, you're twisting, you're going back, back to banana. So hard. Arms go out. Go on up. Twist. Back down. Arms up. Twist. Back down. Arms up. Twist. You're coming up in that bike. You're twisting. See if I can do one more properly. Back down to banana. Oh. That's it. I quit. I'm done. Now you know what's coming. <laughs> oh, man. So hard. Okay, let's... Let's try and stretch that out a tiny bit. I'm getting into Cobra. You can do upward dog if you are feeling it. Pretty big addition. <laughs> and do your best. Forget the rest. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna go get the upward dog. Just try and get those hips a little bit more. Holy, press those hips in. Okay. Let's get into child's pose. Reaching out, collapse down, nice deep breaths, when you're ready you can reach over, stretch that side, put your opposite hand on the other hand, reach over, stretch that side. Deep breaths, nice. All right, hands down, collapse forward. Nice deep breaths. I'm coming up. Oh. Well, that one certainly works, yeah. <laughs> Holy snap. That's one down. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for Sculpt B. Don't forget, check out the website. Drink your water, drink your recovery drink. I'm gonna enjoy it after this one, wow. I can probably squeeze the sweat out of my head. That was a good one. Have a great one, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I bid you adieu.